I look like Where's Waldo going to P. Diddy's white party. Or I look like Where's Waldo that just got scared and all the stripes went, Ooh! Take it or leave it. But if you leave it, just know I'm gonna take it. Does this hat make me look like I'm trying too hard? It is the holiday season! So I have inferred, because I do not know what day or time it is anymore, and I've just taken some observations, and stores seem to be selling Christmas sh <laughs> Holiday time means presents! That you have to give other people that have bought you a present that you did not expect to buy you a present, and now you just need to counterfeed their narcissism by getting them a present. If we don't communicate at least every two months, please don't buy me a present. Unless you're my mother, because yes, sometimes we don't communicate that long, and that's my fault. I get it. Here's a tangential thought, but bear with me, it's gonna make sense. I hate confrontation. Absolutely hate it, gives me hives. I'm probably getting hives just thinking about it. However, sometimes it is beneficial to tell someone that they're doing something that's negative to the people and things around them. A great way to do that is by giving them a gift. A gift that sends a message. A message that you didn't have to deliver with your mouth. So today I present to you the Passive Aggressive Gift Guide. Here are some very inexpensive gifts that you can give out this holiday season to let that special someone know just why they're so special. Give them the gift of a doormat, because it's how they make you feel. How about a snow shovel for those who need to dig out their car in the snow, and for those that are just so shallow. Why not try some gourmet jam or peanut butter for those that are really good at smothering. Cute socks are always a hit. Give them the gift of cute feet while they walk all over everyone around them. Maybe a dream catcher so you can make it more efficient for them to catch your dreams and crush them. How about some hair gel? Because they're so jealous. $21 bills because you know they hate change. How about a signed Jody Sweeten aka Stephanie Tanner headshot because it's amazing how rude they are. Try a tape measure, so they can always measure how distant they're being. Maybe a gift certificate for a manicure, or some cute gloves, so their hands can stay warm and look cute while they hold on to those grudges. Garbage cans are always great for those that are really wasteful. A pregnancy test is really great for that special guy in your life, so he can really see how negative he's being. There are so many cute placemats out there, you can give that special someone an extra special spot to place blame. A yoga mat is a classic gift. No matter where they go, they can always stay self-centered. For the animal lovers out there, why not a pooper scooper? Because they're really good at treating people like shit. And a bonus, why not the book I wrote? Grace's Guide, The Art of Pretending to be a Grown-Up. Because you're probably super passive-aggressive in an unhealthy way. It might need some guidance from someone just like you. There you go, there's my passive aggressive gift guide for the holiday season. Hopefully it's helpful and hopefully it doesn't uh, destroy any of the relationships you have with people that are seemingly not the greatest people. I don't, was this helpful? Or was this hurtful? Presents! I don't know. Oh hello, you look like you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I want to see if I say this and it happens because I've been hearing a lot about the secret lately, thoughts are things. If this video can get 15,000 likes on it, let's find out. Can you do it? Also, don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. And I'm thinking about doing a live stream book chat now that the book's been out for a little bit. GraceSkyBook.com. If you don't already have it, it makes great gifts. I'm thinking about doing a live stream, so let me know if you guys would be into something like that, talking about the book, maybe reading some stuff, who knows? Maybe some guests. Uh, if you would like something like that, we'll try and figure out a date for it, and we'll all hang out with each other and drink and pumpkin spice, cinnamon, Christmas tree, gingerbread lattes. I don't have it. <laughs> what? Bye.